take one. Action! You know what, when it's in, it's gonna look the bollocks. I think that's a really nice brushed brass finish. I mean, if it was me, I'd probably give or take there. Buddy kids on bikes. Kids on bikes and scooters along the path. Boom. Fire them bad boys up in a minute. The world's biggest sausages. Look at the size of them. Where is he? Look, he's even behind the counter. Tim, move your van. No one can get in. Right, Thursday, Thursday morning, back at this job. Told you we are going to be here a lot, a while. It's like the pasta, the laugh, old laughing pasta in the bathroom. So, yeah, um, it's basically just carrying on, getting these bathrooms carcassed out. I'm on this one today. I'm just about to call the waste pipe through for the shower. Um, yeah, let me spin it around, I'll show you. Yeah, so, waste pipe's got to come along here, out that wall for the shower. Basin, uh, toilet, hot and cold for the basin, waste out there, hot and cold for the bath, waste out there, and then cold main up there. And we've cracked open this fucking big berth of this thing. Right, we're cracking out this absolute monster today to do the uh, core drilling with. Mega bits of kit. If you ain't got one, screw fix, Titan drill. They're, I don't know, I think that was 90 quid or something like that. Um, but it's just a proper bit of kick. Get you through anything. And uh, it weighs a bit and it's got a hell of a kick on it, but you've got that many stuff to alter. You can alter the chuck spit, uh, the speed, hammer. It goes to, it can be a Kango as well. So yeah, just mega bits of kit. Just gotta be a bit careful drilling arms with it because when they bite, it really rips into your arm. But, right, that's that hole called out for the shower waste. So we'll get that waste pipe in now, get it poked out the wall. And then when we do the stacks of the outside, we can do that. Hot and cold's off here, up the wall and out. And then the bath pipes will get in in the shower pipe. Right then, we're on to the next bathroom now. So these taps are gonna be mounted in the wall, so they're basically coming out the wall. What you've got to do is, you've got to work out, that's gonna be the wall there. And this is gonna be obviously where it's on show. So, you have to look at the instructions and see, there's the finished face of the tile. So that point on there is where you want basically there. So all you see is the tap head and the spout. So we've got a laser level up the wall now and find exactly the depth we've got because we need to pack this out. Let me show you. We're gonna have to pack this tap out gonna sit roughly around here. So we've got to pack this out and fit it to the wall to the right depth so that when it's tiled, it's gonna be there. So it's a bit fiddly. I mean, we do it all the time sort of thing, but I'll show you the process of doing it now. This is quite interesting. Take one, action. So where do we want height wise? Do you want to do a favor, Jeremy? There's a basin in that box. Just hold it roughly. Just so we can get a hold of it. Fucking drop it. Out there. Yeah, if you hold it sort of there. Where do you reckon, Dave? What sort of height? Yeah, that's about right. Get your, hand, get your hands under there. Yeah. yeah. Sure. About that sort of height, do you reckon, yeah? Yeah. Good, mate. Pop in the box. Gonna, I reckon you ain't gonna be far off. Hmm. You got tiles. To yeah. So, 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 okay. So that is gonna be plasterboard finish. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. then we're gonna have ten mm tiles for fifteen. Depending on what. Then we're gonna have fifteen twenty mm tile. So we've still got enough. So that'll be how it finishes. Right. So what you just seen there, there. It's basically this this valve is going to sit we're going to bolt that to the wall there so this spout then sits center of that basin comes out and in by the time the wall's on it'll come to this point here so all you'll see is the spout coming out of the wall and the tap head but you've got to set all this before the wall goes on you've got to get it bang right it's got to be level it's got to be in the center of the basin it's got to be piped up so it's always worth taking a few minutes or whatever and getting that set 
perfectly. So we get this bolted to the wall now, get the connections on it, piped up, and then we can move on to the shower valve. Right, so it's in level, we've had to strap band it because these you drill these walls and they just fall apart. So got it level, got it strap manned, so we've got cold off here, hot off the bottom. So we get some connectors there, bring the pipe work down, connecting the floor, and then that's done, that's set for the depth of the wall. Right, so we've got the hot and colds here, we're gonna come up there in copper into the valve. And I've just had to notch out this joist for the waste because it's got to go in, into the wall and it's out in the back of that unit because the, the unit's just going to be floating off the floor. A lot of notching and chiselling and stuff like that. So, But that's how it is, that's how it has to be. There we go, inch the quarter waste in. So now we'll just get the copper tails up here. Right, so we're now looking at the fittings for the shower and the bath. Now, this right, this valve is going to go in the wall. Normal, fine. Off the top, that fitting off the top to the shower head. Hot in the left, cold on the right. And this one will come off to fill. They've got a bath filler. So that will fit to the bath and it's connected up. But it's got two inlets obviously for taps, but with this one, it's mixed water coming out of the bottom of the valve straight into this. So I'm just trying to work out whether, I can't see, we'll just take one of them out and cap it off and just use one, because obviously we only need one inlet because it's mixed coming out of there. So I'm just trying to dig through the paperwork and just see if we're all right to cap it off. Typical Victoria Plum stuff. I don't know if anyone else has a, a nightmare with Victoria Plum stuff, but, but you know what, when it's in, it's gonna look the bollocks, I think. That's a really nice brushed brass finish. So the way they're gonna do the room, you'll see at the end when, when we do the, the, the bathrooms, but it's all gonna be like 70s brass, pot, brushed brass, looks really nice, so. Probably you've got a tile mill plastic board on there, plus a fix of the tile. I'd probably have that bottom plate and all the way around there. I would guess, I reckon you've got about 22 mil on that. What to go on top of that? Yeah, you've got plaster board and then tile. So that screws that we've got that much of a yeah. that much of a ideally you want a, a nice bit on the show. Yeah. That's you can go right back with it. Right, so we've got the centre of where the bath's going to be, all the way up. So the valve's going to sit, give or take, there. So we've just got to work out now the depth of it sitting off this wall to allow for tiling, plasterboard. So the chip is just going to make a stud for the back. So we can partition that back bit off, put a stud in the back, and then we can fix this to exactly where we want it but we've put the cover cover on the front so we can get a realistic look of the depth it's going to depth it's going to need it's all about the planning you get the planning right you get that in and because obviously we've got to get it center of them two niches as well so it's sort of tricky to try and get it center of the bath center of the niches level upright and sticking out the wall far enough to tile and board Right, so that's that valve set. We're bang on, middle of the niches, middle of the room, and with the plate on the front, we just slide it on. Get it on. We've got enough. Spray the wall. We've got enough to move that. You've basically got, from, from, from this wall here, with the plasterboard on and the tiles, 25 mil. We've got plenty of room in there for movement. So that's bang on. So what we'll do tomorrow, I'll go tonight, pick some bits up. What we do tomorrow is come off the top, fix the head in, hot in the left, cold on the right, off down for the bath filler, come off the pipes, pipe it all up, and that's done, that's set then. And then get the 
the bath weight's just under here anyway. So then that's set. Plaster borders can come in. Because that's, oh, I've got to pipe that up as well. So get pick up that, pipe that up as well. But then this room's done. And uh, the borders can get in and do what they need to do. Get it boarded, get it skimmed. And then ready for the tiler. Just in this room alone. I always find all of a sudden on jobs, you, you'll be, seem like you're not getting anywhere. You'll be putting pipe work in and putting more pipe work in and stuff like that. Then all of a sudden within a day, it all comes together. And you're at this sort of stage where you've got valves in, piping up. Because once this is piped up, piped up, riser in, filler on, that's done then. So when, when, once it's tired and you come back to second fix and finish off, the bath will, bath will be in. So it's a case of putting the plate on, putting the riser on the top, you're done. You know, taps already in for the for the sink. So that's done, just put it all into position. So, right, I'll have a sweep up um, and we'll be back in the morning. Uh, it's Friday tomorrow, so won't get an early day. I might do, don't know, we'll see. Right. But our fucking zebra crossing, bloody kids on bikes. Kids on bikes and scooters along the path, Boom, straight out into the road. Anyway, better get to work. Right, Friday morning, and we're gonna get back over to this job, the ongoing job, told you, gonna be there a while, and get the shower valves piped up, get the waste stacks finished off, get the pipe work down in the box in for the chippy so we can get that box on. Basically, just tidy up any ends, um, so I'm not gonna be holding anyone up next week, because I know next week I've gotta go and get to another few little jobs. So I left my house at quarter to eight driving through my town and it's now ten past eight and I've probably gone about a mile pisses you off this traffic Friday got to have bacon sandwiches on a Friday he's the chef morning. morning says the chef all right them bad boys up in a minute hot well bag. hot bag pipe bender copper pipe. Let's do some real plumbing today. So it's the grudge match, a big grudge match that everyone's been harping on about on YouTube for months now. Plum Blue and PTFE tape versus Loctite. Let's see what the hype's about. So I've got a couple of valves to put into this, uh, into this tap. So what we're gonna do is just do a really crappy test. Just taping them up, seeing which one goes in better because I'm never going to tell which is better because they're both not going to leak, are they? Touch wood. Fucking done it better. Touch wood. So we'll just tape them up and I'll just give you a bit of a, a bit of a review on which one feels like it's taping up better. You wanted it, I'll give it you. Right, let's give it a go then, shall we? So, oh, this is the way I always do the PTFE one. So, comes out, you've got obviously got PTFE tape and your tub of jet blue or boss white or whatever you want to use. So I always do 10 to 15 or so loops, probably not quite as many as this because it's going on quite thick. So I'll we'll probably do for that one. Always do that, put where my finger at today. A little bit of boss white or jet blue or whatever you want to call it on there. So you go, there's a good good bit of tape and a good bit of paste on that one. So that's how I usually do it. Never had a problem. Right. Let's have a go at this then. Looks like dental floss, doesn't it? So I'm assuming it's just exactly the same in the threads. Apparently, once I've used this, I'll never, never go back. Just going on a bit thin. You know, you're used to something. I'm used to the other one, so this feels just a little bit. I don't know how much I should put on, really, but 
I'm going to put on enough to, you know, you know in your own mind, don't you? Like that little bit though, flip that round, pull it, cuts off, nice touch. So it feels a little bit, it's a little bit pasty, but not, not as much as what I've got on that one. I just like that because it's, you know it's on there, if you know what I mean. Right, so we'll make them in. So this is the PTFE tape one. So it bites all right. Goes in, I'll just put it hand tight and then I'll tighten it in. Let's do the other one. Right, so this is the lock tight one. So the, that, that one's gone in and I feel it, you know, felt it tighten up a little bit just when I'm finger turning it in. So that one's a lot tighter to go in. I might have put too much on, but that one feels a lot tighter to go in. Spanners. So let's do up the PTFE tape one. See that one's, that one's sliding in all right, tightening in all right. this one now see that's a lot you can feel it a lot tighter a lot tighter going in like that, starting to go now it's sort of threading itself in it's there you go okay all right so they feel pretty much the same going in It's a little bit of a little bit of tape showing on there, which is a good little seal. There's a fair bit of tape showing on there. So time will tell once we've connected it all up. We've we'll pressure tested it. So there we go. There's the ultimate test. It's hardly the ultimate. It's no top gear review, is it? But which which do I prefer? Which have I got more confidence in? Hmm. I know that one's going to be all right, but that one didn't feel too bad. So we'll see. I'll let you know. Any other consumable reviews you want doing it as such a high end review like that one? Just give me a shout. Tools, tool bags. Compare my Stanley tool bag to the uh, Velocity tool bag. Pipe, new radios. I'm here for the lot. Up, we'll get it clipped, get a couple of clips on that, and make sure it's off when we pressure test. No, we'll get the show about Right, so we've got the shower valve, always come off the top of them, obviously in copper, and I use an outside tap wall plate, just so you can bolt them on, they're solid, and you can get the right height, right depth, and it works a treat. So some people use bushes, this, that, and the other. I always use an outside tap wall plate. Little tip for you. And fr Friday's little delights are the world's biggest sausages. Look at the size of them. Like a baby's arm. And this one. Well, let's turn them around a bit. And loads of people are loving the dustpan drip tray. <laughs> Sheer genius. Adapt and overcome. So we've got heating pipes and hot and cold coming down here. This is like the service duct for the <coughs> for the ground floor. <coughs> and uh, we've got to bring them through here. Heating that way into that room, hot and cold because the kitchen's going there. Rad over there, rad over there, chippy up there. So we start getting some oil through it. It's like prime real estate through this fucking joist. I'll see where I can squeeze some pipes in. I've got the first set of holes through, all the way up. So that's the heating pipes, and we'll bring the hot and colds in this side. 
for the sinks that are going here. Merchants run at two o'clock on a Friday afternoon. What a nightmare. You want to uh, you want to be sort of thinking about getting ready to go home on Poets Day. But uh, no, just to keep make sure the, because I think the chip is in over the weekend. So I just want to make sure he's got these pipes in this boxing and I'm clear of this boxing so he can he can crack on with that. So I'm going to fly to Plum Base now, pick up a couple of bits of pipe, a couple of little fittings and that. Um, but yeah, fucking Friday afternoon. Again, at least it's not a at least not a nightmare of a job. It's just picking some bits up. So, right, we get over there and grab them. Look at this. Look, Tim Taylor parking his van right in front of the door. We can't get in. Look, it's just shocking behaviour. Where is he? Look, he's even behind the counter. Tim, move your van. No one can get in. No, it's got my wallet in my pocket. I can't get past. Come on, Timmy, move your fucking van. No. All right, that's the pipe picked up, so we can start looping this back in. So we've got the heating pipes going across there now to that radio that's going under there, across here. So they're gonna pop up in here for the hallway rad. And I'm just getting through some more rad pipes into here, pick up a rad here, and then they can go that way to pick the rad up under there. Get these done, get these pipes in, have a tidy up, start loading the van back out, and uh, it's my fucking knees today, it really hurting. Been on them all week, getting these first, if you do a lot of first fixing, through boards and stuff like that, floors and that, you'll know, just batters your knees. Got my knee pads in and all that, always, every day one. So day one of uh, my apprenticeship, the guys who my apprenticeship with 30 odd years ago said to me, first bit of advice, get some knee pads. Never ever kneel down without knee pads. So if you're just starting out, apprentices, never ever kneel down without knee pads on. Either get them into your trousers like these scruff ones, into here, or just get a few lengths of lagging, cut them up into, you know, foot long, tape them together so you've got a bit of a kneeling pad on. But yeah, look after your knees. As if by magic, the boards are down. So they're going up, get all that sorted and boxed. Get a pressure test on this at some point next week. Got all the tails out. So like in here, got heating pipes coming out at the top there. They're gonna plaster that, shutter that. And I think what we might do is speak to the client because they're having like a shutter in here, like an oldie worldy looking shutter in, we might see about running the pipe surface, putting school board clips on, just make it a bit of a feature, but we'll speak to him and see. Well, this guy will speak to him and see, he's the gaffer, he knows what's going on. Get this down in here now. Right, not a bad day today. Well, a good week actually. Right, just sat down, it's a Friday. Right, hope you enjoyed um, this video. I say it's a sort of a carry, this week's been, I've been the whole week on this job. Um, so Wednesday's when Wednesday's video is here, tonight's video, Sunday's video is here as well. Because I've done a, a full shift here this week on this job, just getting it all first fixed. So I hope you've enjoyed it. A um, bit of an insight into first fix. I'm knackered, my knees are fucked. Um, but the, the, the back of it's broke now. So I'm not here, bank holiday Monday, I'm gonna have that off. Tuesday, I'm on another job. Um, what is it, Tuesday? Ah, job, in, job for another builder. So I'm back here Wednesday, Thursday. We'll get the tails capped off, we'll get it pressure tested. And then we know all the pipe work in the floor is bang on and it's not gonna leak. So we'll get that done next week and good progress has been made this week. So yeah this week's been made up of this job really but a few little bits for next week so if you liked it hit the like button hit the subscribe button comments below and i shall see you next week